Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11 and for this video I have added some mods, specifically stock visual enhancements and real plume stock configurations. Mainly I chose those two because they had the word stock in their names, so it's as close as we can get to stock while still having visual enhancements. So stock visual enhancements hasn't been updated in a while, hopefully it'll work out. But uh, we have clouds. Uh, it is based on environmental visual enhancements, which you can see the icon there, and scatterer, which is that blue dot. And real plume stock configurations should just change the plumes. It shouldn't be any sort of fancy deal. And yeah, so that's what we've got. We also have quite a lot of science. So let's go to the R&D building and check out what we have here. I think we should just go ahead and get the heavy rocketry, you know? Um, we'll do that. Um, fairings might be good finally. Finally. I think I'm going to go with that, yeah. Got a lot of other stuff here. Flag, hydraulic cylinders. But we'll, we'll go with that first. Miniaturization. Little docking port is handy, but that's about it. I think we'll wait. The solar panels. I haven't seen a need for the retractable solar panels yet. Nor anything in here. Well, we could get some science from the weather analyzer and everything, but maybe if we do interplanetary probes, we'll need these comms, though. Um, Hitchhiker storage container for stations and all. The, the experiment control station is here, so no matter what we do, we need that first, I think. Work lamp. Conformal storage unit, that's interesting. Small cargo cargo needs. An EVA repair kit, I don't know what to do with that, but there are intriguing things in this particular category. Also, mobility enhancer, just in case we can't use the jetpack at some locations. So, yeah, let's get that. I saw some contract... Oh, there's the infamous mobile processing lab, and it's abundant science capabilities but we've got bigger pods here and actually that's all this is this command modules one is just bigger pods and one thing is our contracts we've got rescue Sidwise from orbit of Kerbin but we also have this rescue Arnard and rescue Merpont so maybe we can just rescue all of them and we'll use one of the we'll use the Mark 1-3 pod. So I'm just gonna pick this up. Uh, pick this up. Science data from space around Kerbin is trivial. Um uncrewed probe. That's pretty high up. But before we get to Sidwise, we might be able to do that. Just needs a thermometer. Equatorial. Uh, yeah, let's try it. So one of our rescues is around the moon. That's another thing. So we'll have to pack a lot of Delta V, but... And the pod is heavy as well. So let's research that. I don't know if we have 2.5 meter heat shields though. That's 3.75 meter heat shield. There's the 2.5 meter heat shield. So we either need flight control or aviation to get here for that heat shield and the parachute. Flight control gives us the small reaction wheel and better winglets. We get a whole lot more stuff here, but not the reaction wheel. Navigation light. I think... We'll do this, and then this. Oh heck, let's get flight control as well. I'm splurging on the science here. Alright. Oh, uh, on the unmanned thing. In the previous video, I had uh, snidely commented on the use of that term. And uh, people noticed that, apparently, judging from the comments. And I have to correct a mistake I've made. Technically, even... The male Kerbals are not men. <laughs> so uh, it's a completely incorrect term for Kerbal Space Program because man only applies to males of the human persuasion. 
males of the Kerbal persuasion are not men. Just like male cats aren't men, uh, male dogs aren't men. That it's only male humans that are men. So it should be kerbled or unkerbled, or crude or uncrude. Just saying. And we have to unlock the 2.5 meter heat shield. And I'm going to assume halfway will do. And we are going to have a parachute. And this coming back from the moon at the moment is the plan. We might. The order of operations might be complicated actually. What would be three instead of Gemini? Um, yeah. Kerpalo for now, before I think until I think of a name, we'll pro it'll probably stick. But let me take a look at where we get the small nose cones, which I really like to attack attach the sparks to. These okay, well we can't research it yet. I really want those nose cones though. Let me see. There's another option that's a truss mount and then bear. I think bear is best. I'm going to tuck it in a little bit so that I can bring the tank out from being clipped in. Okay, so that's a way to go. And I'm going to put some other stuff here. We've got enough power, I think. Wow, that inventory is getting a little bit crowded, isn't it? I don't need monopropellant. Electric charge, maybe we need a little bit more, but probably not. Um, we'll have side-mounted solar panels. Or maybe we want to bring those back. I don't believe we need anything more. Let's see, baguettes. Baguettes sort of look like they make sense down here, actually. Okay, well, that's a thing. 2,337 meters per second. Is that enough to do all the rendezvous? Not sure. We'll need a probe core though. Because we're not gonna launch this with crew. And we might as well put batteries up there then. That's just for looks. Poodle? I think we go with Poodle here. This actually isn't that expensive taking a look at it. Considering its capabilities... Um, Bobcat doesn't surface mount? Shucks. Engine plate. Well, maybe that's what we need. Double attach nodes. Right. Oh, that decouples, so I don't want it to decouple. Disable that. These aren't too expensive, I don't think. 2,000 apiece. See, the skipper... The skipper is more than that. It's uh, 5,300, so two of these is cheaper than one skipper. Uh, it's not as efficient in vacuum, but it's more efficient at sea level. It's not as light, though, as one skipper, two of these. Maybe we should just go with the skipper and some boosters. But the skipper is more expensive. Hmm. They changed the model of it, too. That sure helps the situation. Maybe the skipper plus boosters is a good thing. We got the kickback as an option. And then the Pollux booster. Pollux is powerful, but physically big though. We probably would need Separatrons for it. Those are tall boosters right now. Uh, not the conformal nose cones yet, interestingly. Let's auto strut for the first time ever. So this tank to the root part. That'll make me feel marginally better. I'm gonna just splurge on this thing. 
I think we've got tons of Delta V now. All right, I'll reduce how much fuel is on the first stage instead. Boosters are getting a little bit tall for this though. Okay, and I do want fins. And in fact, we're going to go deluxe. Deluxe winglets. Ah, uh, maybe that's too expensive actually. Yeah, uh, wow. Um, these winglets are even more expensive though. I have no idea whether this is a good idea or not, but... Alright. Alright. Let's give it a go. Kerpalo. <laughs> We're stuck with the name now. Okay, so... We needed to get into this orbit without a Kerbal. Or we could trick it like somebody had noted. We could just trick it by not uh, uh by removing the kerbal but merpont's derelict is here and sidwise is here so it's not like we have to go to a kerbal who's in low kerbin orbit i think going to the this high orbit first initially anyway is good because merpont's in an inclined orbit and so is sidwise so we might as well get high i mean well, you know what I mean. Anyway, throttle up, SAS on, and... Uh, well, I guess we should check our commsats, huh? Uh, we could... we could... wait a bit. Let's wait until that one's overhead. Okay, let's go with that, and that one will eventually come into view. Throttle up again, and launch. Very ambitious combination mission again. Maybe this time it'll work a little bit better. Oh, I've got the thermometer. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, there's supposed to be a thermometer. Ah, I always forget something. Okay, we're just gonna do the rescues. We're going straight up, even though I don't want to go straight up. Come on, turn, baby, turn. Uh, it doesn't want to turn very well. Okay. We're on a better track now. Okay, booster set. Okay, that worked. Well, I think the plume is looking better now. The clouds are... I might have to look into something other than stock visual enhancements. The clouds are a bit lackluster. Perhaps because it hasn't been updated in a while. Okay, Poodle. Well, not very circular, but good enough. So, we want to... We just need to go to Merpont first. And 10 degrees, huh? Well, best to get started right there. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe we'll intercept Merpont best getting to Merpont on this side. Still, Merpont's going to be a little bit behind. We could wait. That's pretty close right there. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna fiddle around more with it. We'll figure it out once we get there. And it looks like our burn is in a little bit of time. Just have to make sure that we are not gonna lose power in the meantime. And are we going to have comms? That's a bit trickier. We're stretching that line a little bit too much. And we've lost it. Uh, well, we'll just delay this burn. It's gonna be icky. Oh, we got comms back. All right. We are late, so it's gonna be off. But we can manage. Go. 
We'll do this correction here to line things back up. At least from a distance, Kerbin looks better. Okay, on to our meeting with Merpont. Okay, we're pretty high up, practically geostationary orbit here. And Merpont is right there. Okay, we are closing. Almost through this stage though. Okay, that's good enough. Let's park. And Merpont. Merpont is a pilot. Not a very good one under the circumstances, but you know, with training and proper proper use of spacecraft that do not involve being left with just one part. I'm sure things will be all right in the future. Okay, grab and board. All right. Good times. Let us now rendezvous with Kerbal number two, Sidwise. Sidwise is currently 10 degrees off from us. I think we're pretty high up, so correcting inclination is not such a big deal. We do not apparently have to do it immediately. That's probably better. We can wait for that. All right. So hanging out for one orbit at this level. And now we'll boost ourselves. I don't know if the inclination change is strictly necessary, to be honest, but we could just manage it off plane transfer wise. But maybe it's simpler this way. And staging. Don't go away, little maneuver node. Okay, let me just go to orbit here. How does that look? That looks okay already. Yeah, that's plenty. I mean, we can wait. There's no hurry at this point, as far as I know. Our Duna window is still a ways away, so. We're not missing out on on anything that I know of. Okay, so around here-ish, we want to go prograde and burn until that purple marker over there gets to this purple marker over here. Or they join up some other way. <laughs> We're actually gonna have to go a little bit higher and then come back in. Okay, uh, not a huge tragedy, except we're running out of electric charge right now. Okay, Sidwise. Okay, don't hurt Sidwise's pod, Merpont. You know what, let's park right here. It's a bit of a distance, but it's probably safer with Merpont as pilot. Okay, Sidwise, same pod. <laughs> Maybe we should not use the Mark 1 command pod anymore, considering how badly they seem to do, but it's an engineer, so... I don't know what to think about that. Okay, we're, oh, there it is. Okay, board. We've got Merpont, we got Sidwise, now we need to get the one around the moon. I think we should just go, well, we can meet up with the moon over there. That's interesting. So after basically one exact orbit. Okay, so we're going to encounter the moon somehow, but where is our Kerbal is the question. Pretty high orbit. And 
this approach obviously is not going to help anything, so maybe we do have to correct inclination. Okay, let's start off with that. At least it's not a 90 degree difference. Oops, all right, go. Okay, that seems reasonably precise. Now, we're here. We're going to encounter the moon there somehow. If we do some sort of adjustment here, can we flatten that out completely? Apparently it doesn't like that. Maybe after we get into Mooner SOI. Okay, we'll try that correction. Um, are we in Mooner SOI? It doesn't look like it. Weren't we supposed to... Oh, it's a whole orbit after? Okay. <laughs> I did not appreciate that little fact. All right, a whole orbit. Got it. All the way out here, but we're going to be entering the SOI. Okay. There's the moon. And... Correction. Right. And Arnard's wreckage. We do want to be closer to the moon just by a little. There we go. And then here, with the difference being mercifully only 10 degrees, both correct that up, go the way, correct that, and capture. That's good. Now be in render range. Doesn't cost all that much. Okay, so we have a 150 meter per second burn that sets up the rendezvous and also gets us into orbit around the moon. Yeah, should have burned a little bit earlier. Okay, go. Uh, well, we, I guess our bad timing has messed things up just a little bit. I'm gonna take this one. Ah. Uh, more than two kilometers, but still okay. All right, so we'll go around and meet up with Arnod. Arnard? Is it Arnard or Arnod? Arnard. We could have done a few more Kerbals like this. <laughs> 1,785 left. But we don't have enough room, otherwise I'd check for a contract for an extra Kerbal. Okay, we have parked. Arnard somehow got here in this pod. And Arnard is an engineer. Whoa, flipping around all over the place. So, one pilot and two engineers. And up, 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 board. Okay, yeah, 1,700 left. Let's get away from that thing. And we are going around this way. So over here, we will exit. And I'm not going to take any chances. We should uh, definitely come back home now. Three Kerbals, you know. Magnifies the potential for disaster by so much. I mean, the way we're going, it looks like we're uh, neither going to the moon nor Earth, nor Kerbin, but rather pointing directly at the sun and burning towards it. But nope, that's not how orbits work. All right, 26 kilometers per usual. And we can recharge. 
All right, no problems. Let's just fix this. And we are going home. Triple rescue. Not the easiest triple rescue. Not, not the hardest triple rescue either, but not the easiest. Okay, normal. Separating the service module. Okay, that is the atmosphere. Turn off SAS. Grim faces in the crew. Oh, they smiled. They decided to cheer up. Just as I was mentioning that. Okay, we have passed through the thick of it. We are probably not anywhere near where we'd get good value for the pod. Nope. Practically the opposite side from the KSC. Clouds. Okay, parachute deployment. And full parachute deployment brings us to 9 meters per second. Little bit fast, but manageable, I think. We could possibly jettison the heat shield. I have bad experiences with that, especially at Mars in RSS. We'll see. I, I'm interested to see if it starts sinking, too. Uh, no, it isn't. Okay, not much science earned. We got 27% for the parts. But we got three crew members, level one. So we got those contracts done. And they still have more rescue Kerbal contracts. These two from Kerbin. There's another planet flag on the moon. But... And then we've got that one satellite now. But I think our priority should be getting to that green sandstone back. They're never going to give me a Minmus contract to plant a flag on it, are they? Uh, that's sad. Alright, we'll think about how to go about things. And they, they don't give Duna contracts, they only give Eve contracts. Even though the Eve window is later. Eve has to come around. Uh, actually, it's not that... Oh no, wait, I'm looking at Minmus. Yeah, Eve has to come around all the way. We'll eventually get to... Maybe we should just time warp to the Duna window. I'll think about that. Anyway, so, with a version of Kerbal that now has clouds, I will say thank you for watching. We can't see the clouds because it's nighttime. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.